Hi, welcome to today's QG tutorial, lesson 12. In this video, we'll learn how to use the vector geoprocessing tools, QGIS. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so, so that you can get a notification when I upload the next lesson. If you are new to my channel, you can follow all my previous lessons from the links in the description below. Let's get started. The, the vector geoprocessing tools are used to perform spatial analysis or manage JS data in an automated way. There are seven important geoprocessing tools we are going to learn these exercises. First tool is the clip tool, then there is the buffer tool, the merge tool, the intersection tool, the dissolve tool, the union tool, and finally the difference or the erase tool. So we're just going to go through them one by one and see the different functionalities that these tools bring into QGIS. So let's start with the clip tool. The clip tool is an overlay function that cuts out an input layer with the extent of a defined feature boundary. The result of this tool is a new clipped output layer. An example of how the clip tool can be applied in real life is for example, if a lady is in the kitchen or someone is in the kitchen and trying to cook, cook a donut and they want to make perfect uh, circles, they use something like a cup that, is, uh, that has a round uh, circumference to cut out the unwanted dough. And that is just a perfect example of how clip tool can be used. So in this case, we are going to be using geographic data and let's go to QGIS so that we can do it practically. So we'll open our QGIS, go to project and create a new project, new blank project. Then I'm going to bring in my vector layers, the ones that I want to use in this exercise. In my case, I have downloaded data for India. So you can download data for any region that you want. So I'm going to bring the vector layers into layer, add layer, add vector layer. Then I'm going to browse for where my, my data is. This PC, it is in the on the desktop. GIS folder, data, India data. So there are several kinds of layers I want to bring in. I want to bring the education facilities, the education facilities, the health facilities, the points of interest, the roads, the waterways, and the Indian administrative boundary. I want to bring in all these data in so that you can learn how to use the clip tool in QGIS. If you don't know how to get this data, you can look at the links in the description below. There are useful links where you'll get all the ways that we downloaded the data in our previous lessons. So let's start by adding the Indian administrative boundary. So I'm going to open the Indian administrative boundary. I'm going to add admin1. And admin one has been added to our PGIS. I'm also going to add now the other data. I'm going to add the rods, which is the line feature. Then I'm also going to load the point data we're going to be using. So I'm going to go back to the end data. I'm going to start with the education facility and point data. Select and open. Then I'm also going to load the health facilities. Then I'm also going to load the waterways. Then once I've loaded all my data, I click on close. And now I have all the data that I want to use this exercise. I am going to, actually I downloaded data for just one region of uh, India, the eastern part of India. You can download data for the whole of the India, but since I just wanted us to work, to work on one region, I downloaded data for the eastern part of India. So you can see 
we have our point data, which is the health facilities, the education facilities. Then there is the waterways. Then there is the roads. And then there is the administ administrative unit. Now let's name our administrative units according to the different regions. You can see there are different regions. Let me just zoom to there. You can see there are different regions, administrative regions. So to label them, I'm going to properties. Then level, then single level, and I've already checked this data. The label that we want to label it with is name one. So I'm going to select name one. I'm going to it's a text the text data. I'm going to change the color to maybe say up this uh, pink color. I'm going to just put a buffer around. Then I'm going to increase the size a bit. In okay, I click on apply okay. And I've actually named the different regions according to how I want to name them. So the next thing I'll do, I'll uncheck some of these data first so that we remain with just Indian admin, so that we understand what we want to do here. So I'm going to uncheck all the others from view, so that we just remain with the administrative units. Now. An example is you want to just uh, base your map in this region, maybe say Orisa, this region called Orisa. Now I want to just have data. Currently, if you look at this data, when I when I check it, you can see it covers the whole regions, the whole eastern regions. But we just want to have data, maybe say for this region only, called Orisa. The first thing we need to do is we need to select these boundary this is going to be now the clip layer this is like that cup that you're going to be using to shape the donuts into round shapes so i'm going to select these and how do you select i select these first then i come to the select tool here remember in our previous exercise select feature by then i'm going to just select feature by single click so i'm going to select orisa so i have selected orisa I'm going to save now a new layer called Orisa boundary. Maybe it's a state, Orisa state. So I click export the feature as. I'm going to only save the selected feature. And I'm going to save it somewhere in my JS folder. Data, India, data, Indian admin. Now I have. Orisa. Click save. Now I have a region called Orisa, and I'm going to say okay. I'm remember you are saving only selected feature. Then I'm going to say okay, and you can see now it has been loaded into our UGIS. So I can actually uncheck now India and remain with Orisa. So if you see, if I check now the other data, you can see now they are actually overlapping. So what we want to do is we want to just also do the same thing to these other kinds of layers here. So what do we do? We will now clip these other layers using the Orisa boundary. We are going to cut all these other layers so that we remain with just the data that is within Orisa. So like for example, we're going to have data for Orisa health facilities, Orisa education facilities, Orisa waterways, and Orisa roads. So we just want to remain with only we actually want to create new data out of the data that we have so i'm going to now go to the next step the next step is now where do we get the uh, geoprocessing tools in ugis For all vector functionalities the, geo, the, the geoprocessing tools are found in under vector so we'll go to the vector tab in our menu bar select and then you just scroll and look for your processing tool here in your vector under your vector you might have fewer tabs than mine but that's because actually i have customized my qgis so much over time and i have several other plugins installed so you just look for where there is the geoprocessing tool then we're going to select the, actually all the geoprocessing tools are under one under under the geoprocessing tool so we're going to select the clip you can see there's a buffer clip Convex hull difference, dissolve intersection, symmetrical difference, union, eliminate 
selected polygons. We're actually going to cover almost all these uh, processing tools. So let's start with the clip function. I'm going to select clip now. And you'll see another dialog box appears. And you can see the input, there's a part where under the parameters where you are supposed to input a layer. Then the overlay layer, which is the clip layer. What are you using? In our case, all the over, our overlay layer will be Orisa. The input layer can be either a point, a line, and a polygon. So by default, you can see, since I had, I had selected Orisa here, it just selected Orisa here automatically. What I did to now select what I want to clip. So let's start with the health facility. So I'm going to select there. Let's start with the education facility. So you can see this there, education facilities. The points so I'm going to select that as my input layer. The out of overlay layer is the Orisa. You can see I have Orisa, and, and actually, under the overlay layer, it must just be a polygon. You can see when I select this, I only have two options here, and those are the polygons that I have in my, my QGS. But since we are no longer using this Indian and bin one, we already have our clip layer. I'm going to use Orisa. Then you can read information about these. Uh, clip layer here but now we are, we are we are being told here that they, we can actually create a temporary layer so let's go and click create a, temp a temporary layer first before we save the actual layer but if you're sure about your, your software you and just come here select and save to file so but currently you're just going to select uh, to leave it at temporary layer and see what, what happens and always make sure that your projection is the same like you can see this is the EPSG for 26 and this so make sure that the projection is the same so that it works so i'm going to just click on run and you can see the algorithm has already finished is and a new layer called clipped has been, has been added in our qg so i'm going to click on close and then i'm just going to click to uncheck almost all these other layers and leave the clip and you can see now i have some clipped some layers here so i'm going to save this as education facilities so i'm going to make them permanent so save feature as i'm going to save them in our education facilities so education facilities and i'm going to say orisa education facilities I'm going to say okay. Now this is just a temporary layer. I'm going to remove it. There. Now I have my permanent education facility here for only Orisa. Remember, now we have moved from these all these education facilities to only these education facilities. We go to the next layer that we're going to we want to, to to actually clip. So we'll do the same thing. Go to vector geoprocessing tool again. Clip. We are going to now select a different layer. We have we want now to select the health facilities. So I'm going to select health facilities. Then the overlay layer is still Orisa, right? And you make sure you check the projection of the two layers. You can see they are the same. 326. This is 26. And I'm going to click on run again. You can see it has already finished clipping. So I'm going to click on close. And you can see it has clipped the education facility. So if I check the not the education facility, the health facilities. If I check all the health facilities, you can see I have all of them. But now I have used the clip tool to now just have the health facilities for only this region called Orisa. So I'm going to right click and also put again and call it now under India. I'm going to save it in health facilities Orisa health. So I have actually now created two layers called I'm going to remove the temporary layer. So I have the Orisa Health Facility and the Orisa Education Facility. Now let's go and see how we can clip the line layers. We have the, the waterways and we have the roads. So let's start with the, the roads. How do we clip the roads? So that we remain with just the roads of Orisa. So we're going to go to, again to vector. 
the processing tool clip the input now layer will be rods just right then the overlay layer is still orisa and we're going to just create a temporary layer and run and make sure you check you look at the look at the projections and it has saved the clip is finished i'm going to click on close and then i'm going to just uncheck first the the rods to see if it actually clipped and when i zoom in here just zoom in you can see i actually have some rods here so i'm going to save this as i'm going to make them permanent you can actually make permanent or you the same features just the same thing so i'm going to save it under indian data under road data to call it orisa rods then i'm going to say okay really interesting and you can see now i have orisa rods i'm just going to bring it down here then i'm going to it there and then we go to the next thing now we want to clip the water lines the lines you can see the water lines are overlapping yeah, they're overlapping up to the other side but you just want the water lines of the water. so i'm going to go to uh, the process clip. currently i'm just selecting the water lines and you make sure you check the uh, for the 326 and uh, then the overlay layer is already and i just click it's clipping see the clip has finished i can click on close then it's a temporary layer so let's look at if it really clip then you can see now there's some rivers there i'm just going to save this clip as or reserve I'm going to say this is so and just zoom into there and now we'll see let, let me just remove temporary and now that we have the points lines and the polygon we wanted to create for Orisa from the whole of the region in India here. So we currently have only data data for Orisa. So we can actually decide to just now make a map of only Orisa there. Yeah and work with this the uh, way you want so you can select any region of your choice it, as long as you make sure that the clip layer is always a polygon layer if you found this video useful and you want to learn more on qgis subscribe subscribe to my channel hit the bell icon so that you can get a notification when i upload the next lesson otherwise i'm just happy you're here see you in the next lesson